We have a new snapshot of how the U.S. economy and unemployment crisis look before Tuesday's election. CNN's chief business correspondent, Christine Romans, has the breaking details. What does it look like, Christine? Well, the first peak we have here at what the economy, how the economy grew over the summer. I want you to imagine July to September. Remember beginning July, states were starting to allow restaurants to reopen outside with social distancing. People were starting to loosen up a little bit. And people had $600 extra a week in their uh, unemployment checks. So money started to flow. So we saw the economy snap back. 33.1% annual rate of GDP growth. So remember, the quarter before that, it fell 31%. So it was a crash before that. Before that, it was 5% in the quarter, in the first quarter. So now this is that snapback we've been talking about. The concern here, though, is this is rear view mirror. This number is incredibly stale. And now in the fourth quarter, you don't have those shock absorbers. You don't have that fiscal stimulus in the economy anymore, and people don't have all that ready cash to spend. The housing market strong, consumer spending strong in the third quarter, so you saw that bounce back. A record number, no question, but some concerns from economists of how it looks going forward. A more uh, a more fresh number would be the, the, the weekly jobless claims. We just saw that number, Allison. 751,000 net new claims. Nice to see that again, sort of plateauing and drifting below 800,000. Uh, when you add in the number of people asking for the first time for pandemic unemployment benefits, this is, these are different programs for, for gig workers uh, and the like, another 359,000 there. So still, it paints a picture of more than a million people having to file for jobless benefits for the very first time. That is still a jobs crisis, and 22 million people are continuing to receive some sort of jobless check right now. So, Allison, it just paints this picture of an economy that bounced back in the summer, but a jobs crisis that still persists.